Hey guys, it's another day. So I've changed my track layout again to see how this track feels as I get ready to sort of make the two level track. So I also converted one of my 98 millimeter mid mount cars over to be a 102 millimeter low mount mount. And I've put a Nissan R390 chassis uh, body on it. And I've put LED lights in it. And it drives absolutely beautifully. I love this car, it looks great and it drives really well. So I'm just going to do a few laps. It's night time so the light's not great in this room so I've had to use a slower shutter speed which means the car will blow when it drives around but anyway you can see it at the moment this, looks, this Nissan just looks fantastic. So I'll see how we go. So I haven't driven any cars today at all and I'm pretty tired from work so we'll just see how it goes. So how this Nissan R390 feels compared to, this used to be my Lexus SC430 but I never really felt comfortable with that, the way it performed on the short track. It used to do really well on my outdoor wider track but on the narrow track never really sort of felt good to me. So I thought well it's got good turning so I'll swap it over to a Nissan R390 and see how it goes and the Nissan R390 drives so smoothly and so beautifully so I'm glad I did that. And looks great with the lights I put in it. I've only got two rear lights because it's just, I've just used the Kyosho light set which only comes with two front lights and two red rear lights. So I might consider soldering on a couple of extra red LEDs at the back to have all four of them lit up. So I'll just position it so you can see the back lights. So I've just got two of them at the moment. It'll look much better if I do the quad lights at the back. All right, so I'll try again. Yep, so this is just a really smooth car that's fun to drive, I love it. And something else, I had a box from Japan arrive today that spent more than two months coming by a ship. So I'll open it up to see what's in there, so I'll do an unboxing video later in the week when I get home from work before it gets dark, late right in the week, if not on the weekend. So at least I know what's inside the box and um, it's quite a surprise. I think you guys will like some of the things I've bought. So I have to say, based on how this Nissan R390 drives, that uh, it's absolutely worth converting the 98mm mid-mount over to a 102 low mount if you've got enough chassis and if you've got a 102 uh, body to go on it. So I just thought if I'd known how good this Nissan was, I would have done it months ago. Because I've had the parts here for months, but I just never got around to doing it. But now I'm like, whoa, this car looks great, it drives great. It's just such a good fit to this track. I just really love it. And as soon as I say it's a good fit and I love it, now the trouble starts, yep. <laughs> bring the car over and give you guys a good look at it. So here's the Nissan R390. So it just hugs the track, it's really amazing. So I've just put um, narrow one and a half offsets on the front, the classic Kyosho white plastic ones for now. And on the back I've changed it from the spec. The spec says to put wide zeros but I can see that wide plus one fits so I went for plus one and it's just driving beautifully. So you can see at the back I've only got two lights so I want to light up the other two as well. So fantastic car, you need to buy this body as a Route 246 body only um, but it's absolutely worth it. So I've also got the Mazda 787 um, I've also got a Porsche 962, they're both low mounts 102mm and I'm just thinking, have I got anything else? I don't think so. 
But anyway, I might try out the other bodies and just see which body drives the best on this. But I've also ordered parts to convert another 98mm over to 102 because I think the 102 is just so beautiful to drive. So stable. And on this particular body, the Nissan R390 just feels like you've just hugged the ground. It's almost like you've got a good aerodynamic effect from the body. It just seems so stable. You can use full throttle out of the corners and it does not move at all. It's just really, really stable. So, there it is. Alright, that's all I'll show for tonight. And um, as I said, in a few days' time, I'll film an unboxing video for what's just arrived and there'll be some nice surprises in there.